uh, the people in the know will find this cringy that I'm talking about this, but there's a thing called the lick. And the lick is a phrase that's been used by jazz improvisers for decades, Longs, for, okay. for, a long, uh, for a long time. And then it got turned because of the power of the internet into this meme. Basically, if you play the lick, then it's a joke. And so now everywhere- A joke like ha ha. Yeah, as in like, <laughs> you go, do ba da da do da It's like ha ha, you played the lick. I get, t I get messaged all the time on Instagram by people just playing the lick and send me, sending me the lick. Uh, I get messaged of people finding the lick in different p pieces of music all around the world where the lick is present, like whether or not it, people use it as an in-joke or whatever, it's present all over the place. Now it's this unit of understanding that you are in on the joke, you are in on what jazz is, the lick is there, and now you have a community of people that you can laugh with. And that community in the past five years has grown so much in terms of jazz musicians and people who at least want to feel like in the know, feeling cool and in the know, has grown to this point where like, oh, there's now, it's a little bit less of this stuffy upper middle class sort of thing. Mm. This is now an internet culture thing. Yeah. Which is modern. It's a very modern thing yeah. and it's only happened very recently. And you, again, it's like, like, you're like young and cool and cute. <laughs> so it isn't like some old fuddy-duddy, you know, like, oh yes, darling, with this pipe yeah, and slippers. Yeah, and, and it's know? also, I mean, there's, there's what, and also it gets into the idea of like what jazz is. Jazz is a lot bigger than, than I mean, jazz of the 1950s and 1960s now. Jazz is much more of a, general approach to music making and it's also much more uh it's broader it's broader when people think of jazz you anyway. know i could go on and on about this because yeah. you're getting into my wheelhouse of mm -hmm. race and class which i, oh, love, which I oh, love i love that. darling that's good, i love that's, that's, that's a good race that's, and class that's, stuff yeah, yeah, that's I it that. i love that stuff there's this term i like using it's a shibboleth from the bible and shibboleth is a means of distinguishing in groups versus out groups mm. and an in group if you're able to say the shibboleth i forget what exactly it is in the bible but um <clears throat> it was a means of this determining whether or not a group, a tribe was part of the Isra like Israelites or not part of the Israelites. And if you could say shibboleth without saying sibboleth, then you were an Israelite. But if you, were, if you couldn't say shh, then you weren't an Israelite I and you were, you're an outsider. And the whole idea between, behind a shibboleth, and I think this is what meme culture is and internet meme culture is, is the idea of distinguishing groups in a way that is meaningful to people because Everybody can connect with anybody else, mm. but it's hard to find your tribe mm -hmm. now. And so because we have these signifiers, we have like different memes, we, this is a way that we can connect with other people that are like us. So you, um, do you know what's funny though? It's like, I, that's not the world I live in at all. It's the world I live in entirely. And, and I it's know strange, you, yeah. But that's what I was going to say, but I really do feel, I'm not just saying this, I do feel like you and I have a good connection and a rapport already. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you're going to no, be like, no, just fucking fun. batshit crazy. Oh, woman. it's fantastic. I love it. But, <laughs> but I wonder if that, if, if by thinking in that terms, it's more, it's isolating in some ways. Does that make sense? Yeah, it, it is. I'm but... outside of the shibboleths. Shibboleths? Shib shibboleth. Yeah, I'm not a shibboleth yeah. in your meme culture, but I would say that you and I are shibboleth in terms of values, ideas, and things yeah. that we find Yeah, and I think this is, I know? think it's just a tendency also for humans to do this. This is not a right or wrong. This is just what's happened. And I think um, that is the current manifestation of it. Um, it, because we talk all the time in these like really grand overarching, I mean, I hear it all the time from like tech optimism, like we're connecting with everybody, mm. but maybe we don't want to connect with everybody. Yeah. Maybe we just want to connect with certain people. Yeah, yeah. And there's ways that that's happened. Um, and that's just a, it, it's an interesting thing. I don't think it's a good or bad thing. I'm just saying that this is, this is how it is. I, I very much view the world and like, this is how it is. It's not a good or a bad thing. Maybe there are things that I personally would want to change about the world but just understanding it is the first step to understanding everything around us. So anyway.